While you like the videos created by some of your favorite YouTubers or vloggers, have you ever wondered how the photos that they share on their Instagram profile or other social media platform look equally cinematic and go so well with their video content? In this video, we will find out why and how you can do it too to your photos. While color grading of videos can be taken by using sophisticated high-end tools like DaVinci Resolve or all the way to few clicks process by using magic bullets or film convert, in between all these there is a concept of using LUTs. At a more basic level, LUTs are used by filmmakers to not only bring back the color and contrast to the footage shot in log picture profile but sometimes even to add the punch to an already color corrected footage to add the cinematic touch to it. It's these cinematic LUTs or lookup tables which add the final wow factor to the already cinematic videos shot. But hardly any people know that these LUTs can be applied to photos too and get a similar look and feel to the images as we get to the videos. LUT files are available as .cube, .3dl, .look and many other formats which we can load using the Lumetri panel in the Adobe Premiere Pro. But let's check out how we can do this using Adobe Photoshop to apply LUT to our images. The first step in this process has to be with a basic processed image with the white balance, exposure, contrast and color issues addressed. Once you are done, go to the adjustment panel which can be accessed using the windows adjustment. In this panel, click on the color lookup icon which looks like a 3x3 grid icon. This will open up the properties panel corresponding to the color lookup. Here click on the drop down corresponding to 3D LUT and you can find the LUT files which are preloaded or configured by Adobe. But if you have a specific look and have a corresponding LUT file available with you, click on the load 3D LUT which has a small tick mark next to it. It will open up your file explorer or finder window where you can navigate to the folder where you have the LUT files. For the sake of this demo, I am using a LUT package from Lutify Me which I am really digging off late and find it very interesting and giving a very cool look to the videos and photos. Once you apply the LUT, you can play around with the opacity to suit your taste. You can even stack up LUT layers to get more unique look but that's more of like a personal taste. Talking about LUTs, if you are wondering where to get them from, all thanks to the ability of affordable cameras from Sony and Panasonic to shoot log, a plenty of free and paid LUTs are available on the web. As I mentioned, Latify Me is one of the collection which I am really liking off late. No, I am not sponsored by them but still why not promote something which is good. You can even have a look at Color Grading Central, they too have a lot of free and paid LUTs which you can pick up and use on both photos and videos. Or if you really fancy looks from your favorite YouTubers, say like Peter McKinnon or Mango Street, then buy one of their LUT package and try it out on your photos. Hope you like this short video on how to get stylized look to your photos beyond using presets and actions. Comment below if you really like certain look that you have seen on YouTube and want to try it out on your images or if you have any of your personal favorite LUT which you use for your videos as of now. That's it for this video. This is me Shiv signing off from technology and I'll see you guys again in the next one. But before that, three very important things. Hit the thumbs up icon if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, comment if you want to say something and most importantly, keep smiling.